Hi, in this video, I will share with you some background information about how Eclipse IDE compiles Java code. Do you know why does Eclipse use its own compiler for Java? Or why doesn't Eclipse use Java compiler provided by JDK? Well, there are some good reasons that Eclipse makes use of its own Java compiler. Uh, the most important reason is that Eclipse Java compiler is an incremental Java builder. That means uh, it automatically compiles uh, the changes you have made so you can see the IDE response very fast. For example, this year Eclipse IDE on my computer with the uh, uh, last project here, you can see there are um, many many java classes and when i write code i make a small change for example i make a small change here request payment and details and uh, save the chain and eclipse the uh, compiler automatically compiles all only the changes i have made very quickly. If I miss some uh, error here, for example, you can see it uh, quickly shows the error. You see here. So the response is uh, very fast. Whereas uh, the Java compiler does not support uh, incremental compilation. So it requires uh, compilation of the full uh, the whole project code on time so programmers we experience uh, slow response and you know the eclipse java compiler is a part of jdt core component java development tool so uh, the most first and foremost important uh, reason that eclipse uh, Use its own Java compiler is that uh, Eclipse uh, compiler is an incremental Java builder, uh, so it can uh, provide fast feedback to programmers, increase programmers' productivity. In addition, Eclipse Java compiler produces more warning and errors than uh, Java, which is more useful in uh, development. And another reason that Eclipse uses its own Java compiler is that it lets you run slightly broken code, code that contains unresolved errors. Uh, for example, you see in uh, this code I have uh, error here, a small error here, and but uh, with Eclipse the Java compiler I can still run the application normally. You see, so it is useful to quickly test the part of the code that uh, doesn't relate to the uh, code that contains uh, errors. And let me show you another example. For example, we create a Java class, common utility here, and I write a main method here. This method I just print out Eclipse and Java compiler, and in this method, uh, suppose that I have some error in this method, for example, here you see, and now I can still run this program, run as Java application. And you see, Eclipse uh, shows a warning. Errors exist in the required project. And proceed with launch. We can click proceed to run the program anyway. And you can see it prints the uh, message Eclipse Java compiler. So that's the benefit of the 
incremental compiler in Eclipse allow us to run a slightly broken code. With Eclipse uh, own Java compiler, it allows us to uh, customize errors and warnings and uh, generate by code. Okay, let me show you in this uh, project properties and under the Java compiler section here you can see this section the class file generation here this is a, a option of the Eclipse Java compiler uh, control how the bytecode is generated you see there are some options here and if you go to the section errors warnings here you can customize how Eclipse uh, Manage errors and warning to the code. For example, you see, uh, for unnecessary code, value of local variable is not used. Uh, you can choose uh, error warning info or ignore. By default, it Eclipse we display a warning if the local variable is not used. For example, integer x, and you can see let me fix the error in this. Okay, and you can see Eclipse shows the warning to this local variable the value of the local variable x is not used. Now let's uh, customize the errors and uh, warnings for this issue. Here yeah, uh, we choose to uh, show error instead of warning if a local variable is not used. Line close. And it uh, requires a review of the project. Now you can see Eclipse shows the red error, not a warning anymore. And it Now let's change uh, the error scrolling uh, setting to last warning for the case that a local variable is not used last warning. Apply and close. Yes. Okay, so that's the benefit of using Eclipse uh, Java compiler, the increment uh, compiler. And notice that because the Eclipse Java compiler and Java compiler are two different compilers, so they can produce different uh, warning and error messages. Let me show you how. In uh, Eclipse, uh, we declare integer x equal to a string, and then you will see. Uh, Clip uh, so uh, error here. Mm, type mid match cannot convert uh, from string to int. You can see the error. Type mid match. And in this project, I'm using um, ZDK8. As you can see here, uh, ZDK8 with the uh, Java compiler version is uh, 1.8. And you can see here, and now I open command prompt and I use uh, the Java compiler provided by JDK to compile this uh, common utility class. Mm, I need to delete this method. Okay, to make it very simple. Now I'm in the directory of that class. You can see the common utility dot Java class here, and the version of Java is 1.8. Version of Java compiler is is Java 1.8 here. 
And now let me type the command to compile that common utility class. Now see the Java compiler displays an error incompatible typed string cannot be converted to int. And whereas in Eclipse you can see yeah, the error message is uh, yeah type min match cannot convert from string to in so uh, the error message is produced by Eclipse Java compiler and Java compiler are different Eclipse Java compiler requires RAE to run the compiled byte code so to use Eclipse you need only RAE Java runtime environment JDK uh, is not uh, necessary and there are some corner cases that Eclipse, Java compiler, and Java compiler produce different bytecode and code comprised with Eclipse but not comprised with Java compiler. So to conclude, Eclipse Java compiler is better for development because of its incremental compiler uh, provides a faster response to programmer, increase programmer's productivity and it allows customization of errors and warnings and optimization of the generated by code. I hope you've learned something new in this uh, video. Understand why Eclipse used its own Java compiler instead of Java compiler in JDK. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.